Thank you all for coming on this very special day. It's no accident that each of you are here. You were hand selected to witness a love between Adam and Tori be bound by marriage. Every one of you share memories with the couple and you represent someone important in individual and collective lives of Adam and Tori. Adam and Tori asked that I keep this speech short, classy, family friendly. They politely asked me to leave out the stories that are a little inappropriate. So let's just get to the rings because I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> I count on every word you said In the back of my mind I repeat them One by one As a third party spectator to their developing love it is extremely clear that Adam and Tori represent perfect pairing because each of them complement each other so well. They balance one another, and while each of them is tremendous individual on their own, together they're astonishing. For time's sake, I wish that there was just a single story about Adam and Tori to summarize their relationship and how they enrich each other's lives and the lives of all of us. But the truth is, there isn't one single event that can capture what they mean to me to each other and to all of us here today. It is the collection of belly laughs, memories, and love that make them an amazing couple standing before you today. From this, I can summarize that both of them share love so deep and so passionate for each other that together they can overcome and accomplish any obstacles they face and make their dreams a reality. They protect each other and they make each other laugh. They think outside themselves time magically stops and slows down when they're together. They help each other in ways that are obvious and in other ways that may go unnoticed, but always with the intent of making each other better as individuals and as a couple. I need it when I'm falling apart and burying my head in your hands and heart I come undone now Adam and Tori will share their promise and vows to one another. Tori, you will go first. Adam. If someone were to ask me five years ago if I believed in love at first sight, I would say you're absolutely crazy. But when I met you, Everything changed, and I knew you were going to be special in my life some way, somehow. You are going to be in my life forever. You came into my life when I didn't know that I needed you. Throughout these past five years, you've challenged me. You've pushed me to be a better version of myself, all while supporting and believing in me in every step that I take. You know me better than I know myself. <laughs> and one of the greatest things about spending forever with you is knowing that no day will be the same, but every day I will be laughing. You are my best friend and I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. I love you. I love you. <laughs> oh wait, you can hear me. <laughs> Mine's definitely shorter. Um, I'll never forget when I first met you and how much I loved you right away and I was afraid to tell you. Um, but I knew as we, would, as we have grown, my love for you grew into love for us. And that's something that I've never felt before. Um, your patience, your kindness, and your soul have just blown me away and allowed me to grow into a man I never thought I'd be. I love you very much. <laughs> Aren't you close to me, close to me, close
Tori, place a ring on, on Adam's finger and repeat after me. Okay. Adam. Adam. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. <laughs> as a symbol of my love. With the pledge to. With the pledge to. Love you today. Love you today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Always and forever. Always and forever. And now Adam, place the ring on Tori's finger and repeat after I got me. I'm excited, sorry. <laughs> Tori, I give you this ring. Tori, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. With the pledge. With the pledge. To love you today. To love you today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Always and forever. Always and forever. Just a few last words before we get on with the party. To make your relationship work, it will take love. Continue to date each other. Take time to show each other that love and marriage grow stronger with time. It will take trust to know that in your hearts, you truly want what is best for one another. It will take dedication to stay open to one another and to learn and grow together. It will take loyalty to go forward together without knowing exactly what the future is gonna bring. And it will take commitment to hold true to the journey that you both pledge today. And now by the power vested me by the state of Colorado, it's my honor and delight to pronounce you husband and wife. Adam, I know you've been waiting for this moment. You may now kiss your beautiful bride. And for the first time ever, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Stentz. Um, my name is Cambry, and this is Taylor, um, and we became friends with Victoria in sixth grade, and, yes, and then again in seventh grade, <laughs> and again in eighth grade, until finally, like our stunts and cheerleading, our friendship finally stuck. Growing up all those years together, making hookah bars in each other's basements, and doing absolutely everything together, we still really n never knew what Victoria's type was until we finally got to meet the cute boy from Lifetime who she really never stopped talking about. Adam. Adam. <laughs> I know your mom is so proud looking down on the two of you tonight. I promise that you are the luckiest man in the world to end up with our best friend. We can't wait to continue to watch your relationship grow and to strengthen throughout your marriage. We are so happy for the two of you. We want to thank everyone here tonight for helping celebrate the beautiful couple. Cheers to forever. I've known Adam for only 31 years, but it feels like a lifetime. So I guess you could say I've known him my whole life. Oh. Adam, I love you. I couldn't be happier for you. I think this is very exciting. The only thing, I really wish mom could be here to witness all this, but from where she is, I'm sure she has a pretty good view. Um, so if everyone 
want to raise your glasses for a toast. Um, they say it takes quite a few lifetimes to find your soulmate, and you two hit the jackpot. So maybe go and try to buy some lottery tickets. Uh, <laughs> to Adam and Tori, I wish you many happy lifetimes to come. Thank you.